Guys, we're back in the GCW Zero video. Now, for those that are wondering where Procajit video is, it is on the way. I have been looking into uh, uh, researching a lot of things to try and get something decent to show you this week, but uh, that may not happen yet. It may be next week or a little later. But, as far as GCW Zero goes, there's been some movement in the way of retro work. And uh, first things first, I connected to the internet. Um, on the GCW Zero. In fact, before that, I downloaded uh, some files which can be found in the, the link uh, in the, the, the link in the link below in the description. And um, if you go to the forums, you can find out where to download um, download it. Now, there's two things um, to download. Um, one way involves unpacking quite a bit, and another way involves um, no work at all. So I've gone with that way because <laughs> I cannot be bothered today to pack, uh, um, start unpacking stuff and and you know I want to do it the easy, quick, quick and easy way. Once we've done that, we've got the emulators here and we have retro work. Now, for those of you that wonder why I'm not doing so many of these, is because my my fascia here is actually you can't see it in the dark, luckily, but uh, the dog has chewed it. And I have been trying to contact Justin Barwick. He said he was going to send me it before Christmas, and then I had some money troubles. Now it's after Christmas. I've sent him a message to pay for. Um, the shipment of a replacement housing, but uh, as of yet, I'm waiting for a reply, so he obviously doesn't want to take my money. Once we get into Retro Arc, though, we should see a nice little menu. And this is where it starts falling apart, because with Linux and Open Dingux in particular, I've never had to do anything specifically like I do with the Pocket Chip. It seems that we may have to do stuff specifically. Uh, through the similar route of the pocket chip in order to get uh, stuff working but you can see that the menu uh, is nice they've actually done it uh, not applicable to the analog stick though but it is applicable to my squeaky d-pad which is a little annoying especially on that down button there um, we have the perfect menu or so it seems but uh, even though I've connected to the internet I can't actually do anything with regards to uh, updating files because nothing uh, downloads, which is strange. And if you press B to go back, it starts doing this weird shit, uh, and then you have to exit and go back in for it to work again. Now, as you guys know, we can scan directories for cores, but first we have to load a core. If we go to load a core, you can see that we have got some cores here. If we uh, press A on the core, it seems like nothing happens at all. Um, Nothing. Nothing all happens. Which is a damn pain in the ass. Because potentially, this is what we have here. So, if we've got this here and we've loaded some cores, let's just click on a NES core, for instance, at the bottom here. And, or SNES. And then we go to what we would do on the pocket chip is scan directory. And uh, we scan my SD card and uh, we should have some less runs on here uh, under USA in the scanner directory and it will scan through uh, that super duper quick for some reason and we'll go back oh we scanned one item of 857 Maybe I should have been a bit more specific than that. Uh, two items of 857. Uh, so if we load another core, perhaps we load Ness as well. And we're scanning these items, which was a bad idea. Uh, we're going to have to wait until that has completely finished. I think. But it seems, though, I've done this with other folders and nothing actually comes up so please do correct me if I'm wrong if you have any more information about this then let me know in the comment section below but nothing comes up but it seems we're at a start with the retro work and it is a test build so stuff may not may or may not be working at all anyway but we're, we're at a start and hopefully after a some time in the forms we will actually get this uh, working properly but in its current state it is sort of unusable I guess um, unless you want to go into the nitty gritty things of building stuff with Linux. So, that's retro work. It's a little look at it on the GCW Zero. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. 
as always, slap that subscribe button to stay in tune for more. Thanks for watching. Cheers.